the role of media and sabhas in the preservation and propagation of veena which is very important because all the veena artists should get concerts in the sabhas more often every month so that they can perform and keep their music alive which is a diminishing factor in our field now for that i have we have requested dr rama bennur and she is very kind enough to come here and give the lecture demonstration on that so i request her to come on the stage and start the lecture demonstration thank you madam while i was enjoying the other talks <laughs> it was really nice i was carried away it was when you called me it came as a shock to me <laughs> but anyway i am very much thankful to mr prashant aingar for giving me this opportunity to share a few words with you in this sacred ambience i am very thankful to you uh before i read my paper i want to tell you whenever i say music here it also includes veena it means veena also so i cannot separate veena and music and talk about sabhas or whatever so as an important part of the spiritual and social life music figured as one of the indispensable qualifications for the royalty and other cultured people in the country since ancient times before the 19th century music whether vocal or instrumental was mostly confined within the precincts of our temples and royal courts only sacred music was offered to god during the elaborate pujas in the temples only the royal courts echoed with the sound of music dance and dramas in those days raj sanmana was considered the highest honor for an artist pleasing the kings with compositions in praise of them was common veena enjoyed a prime importance with its melodic sweet sound and the quality music that was offered however common man hardly got an opportunity to enjoy such music unless he was a part of the king's court it's really a wonder in the days when modern gadgets like microphone amplifier contact mics etc were never heard of how the soft and sweet sound of the veena could reach nook and corner of the hall and let the audience appreciate and enjoy the music history has recorded many incidents of great vainikas like veena sheshana subbanna kare kudi brothers kes narayan swami bhagavatar karamana parmeshwar bhagavatar mayuram veena vaidyanatha yar and many others being able to make the listeners hear and appreciate the finesse in their playing without the help of any amplifiers when we know that our sculptors and artisans in the early days could produce the sound of sapta swaras in the pillars and steps even the sound of percussions instruments in the sculpture in tem temples they must have been equally capable of taking care of the acoustics too although in a limited assembly there are many examples for this the alagar koil in madurai tirunelveli suchindram belur halabid and hampi all these places we see such saptaswara stambhas there's a sculpture of yal in tirumayam temple and we can see dhanurveena and kurma veena being played in the temple of uh, the sculpture of these uh, instruments in tinar sipura in near mysore and uh, a damsel playing the saraswati veena in patishwaram pillars that produce udatta and anudatta swaras can there are they are still there in tirupati also such nada stambhas and uh, laya stambha it was very common to them the fall of vijayanagar empire was a turning point in the shifting of the whole cultural field to tanjavur where almost all artists migrated thus tanjavur became the focal point of all arts under the able kings who were themselves scholars and connoisseurs 
at the same time the rulers of mysore tiruvankur rajmundry kakinada bobbili and other places were great patrons of art mysore sa a galaxy of musicians especially vainikas where veena reached its zenith during 18th century and the beginning of 19th century apart from kings rich landlords or zamindars and noblemen who were also ardent music lovers and patrons held private baitaks or soirees or gatherings and invited stalwarts to perform the natural tonal quality of the veena was enjoyed by one and all as the patronage by kings and zamindars started declining the need for preserving our music was felt by all like minded people and music lovers who joined together and arranged performances in schools or some places etc by collecting contribution from among themselves the earliest period when the concept of a sabha or a institution that took shape was in 1896 when sri parthasarthi swami sabha was started in chennai but saraswati gana sabha of kakinada was supposed to have come as early as 1894 then came came in in 1905 the bangalore gayana samaja in 1928 the now famous madras music academy in the same year bidaram krishnappa of mysore constructed the famous prasanna sita rama mandira even though it used to conduct shri ramanomi programs from 1916 itself at various different places this was followed by other sabhas like indian fine arts society that was started by mysore chaudaya in chennai that was in 1932 tyaga brahma sabha 1945 the mailapur fine arts club 1951 kalabivardini sabha of mysore 1952 shri krishna gana sabha 1953 shri ram samaja nada brahma sangeet sabha of mysore in 1956 rasika ranjini sabha and many more there are number of sabhas now swati tirunal sabha in trivandrum is more than 70 years old tyaga brahma sangeet sabha of trishur sadguru sangeet sabha of calicut rasika priya sabha of ernakulam the sai mandir sangeet sabha which later on came to be known as odakathur mat and guruvayurappan sabhas of bangalore and many more helped in propagating our art by arranging the concerts music festivals and workshops needless to say veena was also a part of it as the sabhas grew in numbers artists most of whom were in were in and around tanjore district started settling down in madras madras thus became the center of carnatic music among the earliest such settlers were veena kupayar veena kupayar he was a, a very favorite student of tyagaraja and the tyagaraja had come to madras on his invitation and uh, he played i mean sorry he sang devagandhari for 8 days in a stretch and uh, it is the same uh, veena kupayar who has composed inta para kela namma in bhegada in praise of the chamundeshwari of mysore and uh, patnam subramanya subramanya ayyar he came to be known as patnam subramanya ayyar because he migrated from tiruvayur to teach music for one meena kumari and he settled in madras at that time the name of madras was chennai patnam as he settled in chennai i mean patnam he later on he was uh, called as patnam subramanya ayyar and also pallavi sheshayar he is the one who sang saveri raga for 8 hours they were, all these they were also the vidwans of mysore court apart from providing platforms for all senior junior and upcoming artists the madras music academy bangalore gayan samaja and karnataka ganakala parishad in bangalore were also conducting lecture demonstrations seminars etc by inviting musicologists and experts from all over the world and various topics were discussed argued debated and a conclusion was arrived at through a consensus and recorded in its annual music journals 
it is noteworthy that many other sabhas and institutions of all our southern states too followed the suit and have been contributing their might for such propagation and preservation of our art besides this the music academy also brought out and published very valuable publications like rare lakshana granthas sangeeta sudha chaturdandi prakashike sangeeta saramrata and sangeeta sampradaya pradarshini in addition the academy also and also other institutions started awarding prizes for the best performance best lecture demonstrations etc of course money for this came from the various endowments created in the name of connoisseurs of and music lovers such encouragement was an added impetus to the artists musicologists and experts who would come out in their best a special mention should be made about the encouragement for veena exclusively by few individual individuals and sabhas who conducted music competitions veena competitions and gave away veena as the first prize i remember in my childhood my father used to conduct veena competitions and vocal competitions and the first prize was always a veena as a for the first prize winner for vocal first prize winner it was a tambura the first prize and i also i should mention mention uh, uh, venkatramana bhagavatar in memory of deshamangalam subramanya ayya subramanya bhagavatar near trishur even he used to present veena as the first prize now let us analyze the role of radio in our music the remarkable impact this mass media has made on our music can never be over emphasized the broadcast of concerts and the expansion of wireless network all over the country was responsible for our music reaching much wider listeners here the most important point that we have to note is artists in the bygone days were never bound by constraints of time and their performances would go on and on and on for hours together we must also understand that the radio curtailed the duration of a concert to say uh, 60 or 90 minutes the artist therefore had to adopt their program to suit the limited time allotted and still have to had to give the whole effect of a kacheri within the stipulated time in other words the effect of a 6 to 8 hour concert had to be given within 60 or 90 minutes in a capsule form another great contribution of ar has been that they meticulously recorded the music of all the stalwarts and preserved them in their archives for posterity this apart to spot out talent among budding artists the radio came out with a novel idea of introducing competitions in various categories of music the first prize winner would be straight away selected as a graded artist avoiding the need for audition apart from the regular concerts as an annual feature the ar would conduct special concerts like radio sangeet sammelan in many important cities before invited audience subsequently the program which was recorded live would be broadcast all over india it is therefore needless to mention that the radio has con- contributed immensely to the propagation and preservation of our music now the tv the visual media on its part went further and helped the rasikas enjoy music live it could telecast programs live and viewers could sit at home and enjoy apart from this various other cultural events like dasara etc were also brought home live by te- technological advance advancement when we talk of uh, advanced technology of course uh, today many people have raised this uh, i'll just mention it there's no need for elaboration when we talk of advanced technology amplification of sound of veena came in as revolution then came the con- contact mic everyone could clearly hear the subtle nuances of gamakas of veena along with the continuity of sound then arrived the magnetic pickup which could sense the vibrations of the strings directly we have also seen 
fiberglass replacing the wooden podam. Today, there are electronic veenas with a built-in amplifier, amplifier and tambura. Another media that has helped in propagation of our music is press. It started by covering concerts in the early 60s in the dailies like Hindu, Sadhvi and Thai Nadu, etc. Gradually, this was followed up by giving wide publicity along with previews and reviews. The reviews mirrored both the positive and negative aspects of the performer. The profiles of artists were also published which helped them with wide publicity. Here, it is appropriate to mention the exclusive reviews of the national programs under the headings Musings of Music in Deccan Herald and Prajavani, as also the series of Carnatic musicians in the Illustrated Weekly of India during 1950s and 60s. Well, this way I have tried to present before you the enormous effort put in by great institutions and the media in preserving and propagating the veena, which has richly contributed in ornamenting the music, which was an inseparable, which is an inseparable part of our music, and which was appreciated by even foreigners who called it as the king of the instruments. Thank you. Oh, you can ask openly. There is no hidden secret. This is an open discussion. You can ask her. As no, I don't as think there was any ambiguity in this. <laughs> there is no, 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 not ambiguity. Because as we are discussing about media and the sabas, every artist have their own experiences and would like to share their views. But and actually, I feel it. there is a lot of scope to, you know, debate over the present situation of Veena in sabas. Yeah, that's the, that, that is that, that, that is that's the not corrected to this. <laughs> no, because as we are speaking about sabas, we also have to speak but the. Today, pros and cons of the sabas. Today, I think there is a need, very badly need of a, such a discussion among the sabas. Why the slot given for veena performances are less? Friends, I am provocated to speak because of the subject. One, sabha. Second, media. I have no questions to ask. I am just giving my opinion, rather my observations. I am reviewing critic from the past three decades, little more than three decades. That's a different point. Sabas and music, not the subject. Sabas and Veena is the current subject. And uh, we can observe two minutes silence for this. Because no Sabha is encouraging Veena.